In our HealthCast today, we're noting that today, June 8th, it's actually designated Brain Tumor Awareness Day. And experts really hope this becomes an opportunity to help people understand the differences in the types of brain tumors and what the diagnosis really can mean. Dr. Gaunjin Goel, who's the medical director of HCA Florida, neurosurgical specialist, says that while brain tumors can be malignant, meaning they're cancerous, about 30% of them are actually benign. And out of those 30% brain tumors that are benign, not all of them require surgical treatment. The treatment could be observation, could be surgery, or could be radiation. Dr. Goel says the decision on whether or not to intervene depends on the age of the patient, along with the size and the location of that tumor. By the way, the most common uh, kind and form of benign tumor that's actually typically found in older postmenopausal women. And if you suffer from insomnia, a study finds you may be at a greater risk for having a stroke. Using data from the Health and Retirement Study, researchers built on previous findings that showed somewhat mixed results regarding stroke and sleep disorders like sleep apnea. This study found an association between other issues, things like duration of sleep and stroke risk. Additional research has shown that difficulties in falling and staying asleep can also impact your stroke risk. The findings suggest that younger adults in particular need to manage insomnia to reduce their long-term risk of one day having a stroke. And on the subject of sleep disorders, another study found that early birds with sleep apnea tend to use their CPAP devices for longer periods of time each night. The study found that people who prefer to get to bed early and then be active in the morning got about 32 minutes more sleep every night than those who stayed up later and woke up later too. Researchers say understanding and improving CPAP use can have tremendous health benefits and open the door for future research.